Hi guys, RJ here, and this is Red's Premier League number 21. We are absolutely flying through these episodes now, guys. Um, we seem to have been getting as many out as we can, like, with a lot of decent response. And I just want to say thanks to anyone who's liked and commented them and watched them and everything. I really do appreciate it all. But, um, like I said, I've been getting these out a lot, and there might be a delay in video output or... Um, not as many coming out in the next week or so, mainly just because there's a lot of things to do with college and school and everything that I'm going to have to do and I might not be able to do as much. So I'm sorry guys like for that little delay but there ain't really much I can do about it so I thought I'd kind of pre-warn you now so you kind of know what's going on instead of just being like hmm what's going on. So yeah anyway back to the episode we go into this game against Colchester and we won these previously in the season if you watched the one of the previous episodes and I was going into this game admittedly very cocky feeling like oh I can easily win this um, and it ba basically backfired in my face. <laughs> they managed to push us to a draw and we went through all the 90 minutes without a decider, all of extra time without a decider and it came to penalties. Not ideal to be honest because I really did feel like oh it's going to be totally down to luck because that's what penalties is roughly. It's just whether the keeper can guess the right way and how cool and collective the penalty taker is. But we actually make a really good start with Smith making two really good saves there and actually giving us the kind of like, hmm, motivation to go on and win. And even though Kanechi does kind of mess up, Smith saves this for us and was basically our man of the match. He's playing really quality this season as he always does for me. It's such a good decision to bring him in um, the two seasons ago and I'm so glad that I actually did do that because he's the only keeper I've got. He's the only keeper that I've ever had. The keeper that was all the issues we are let go on a free transfer because I didn't feel like I needed anyone. And talking to the team, I didn't feel like I needed anyone in this transfer deadline day either. Money-wise... I've basically, on the budget allocation of wage to transfer budget, I've basically done it so that most of it is towards wage budget. This reason is because I basically want to re-sign everybody I already have. I don't want to let anybody go. And I've basically done that for all the players I have received. Um, like, people saying I need new contracts off. Like, Osborne and Goldson. Um, I think there was a few more. But them was the main two that I actually re-signed. And they're on, like, long deals now. The only contract that I haven't renewed is, um, excuse me guys, is um, wins. The only reason for this is because I haven't got the money to do it at the moment. I'm really relying on cup wins and the team doing well to get a bit of income coming in so I can actually pay for that contract. At the moment, obviously, I can't because I haven't got the money, but that is what I'm looking forward to. So that is a reason why I didn't sign anybody in that specific transfer um window. I would have liked to, to be honest, I wouldn't have liked to left the team with this, maybe even it was just a young player or just an extra player in a certain position, but like I said, I wasn't able to, so I've stuck with the team I've got on. Even though there is a lot of people injured, which was the main reason why I wanted to sign people, and as you can see there, Gradison, Keaton, Ballat and Weston are all injured, I'm going to have to stick with this team and try and put the best team out and really get them to produce as much as I can as possible. Now, we come up against Sunderland here in the League Cup, FA Cup, not too sure which one, but we come up against Sunderland, and this was a test. I mean, I'm flying okay in the league so far, doing averagely okay for the start of the season. But this game really opened my eyes up to these are the teams I'm going to have to play. These are the teams that I'm going to be like in the Championship. If I get promoted, this is the teams that... If I do get to the Premiership, I'm going to have to try and win to keep my position in the Premiership. I've already said before, guys, that I'm not going to win the series just as soon as I get in the Prem. But at the same time, I need to be able to remain in the Prem. I definitely don't want to go into the Prem, get up there and get demoted. And then be like, oh, and then I have to get promoted again. And it's like, oh, it's still this the same, same, same. Even if it only means that I get out of relegation by goal difference or like by a point or something. As long as I remain in the Prem, I do not care. As long as I keep my job, the board are happy and we are in the Prem, then it's fine. And then... We can always work on improving the team and buying better players and everything. But for the moment, for League One, we have got a really quality team. And we actually go on a lot of wins through the next episode or two. It's really good when the team plays like this. And I really do feel like I want to play more and more games when I'm recording. I, I come to the end of a 
episode like i record so many videos and say yeah that's an episode and i come to the end and i just want to play another episode another episode and just keep playing and playing but i have to stop myself because i get too far ahead and then i come back to commentate then it's like oh what happened here and then i have to watch the video again to remind myself and then i feel like my commentaries aren't as good and i'm like oh, da, 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 and i get all confused and stuff as you can see by my random da, da, da. but yeah anyway Team doing well, the scouts doing well, gives us one good player there at the two, which ain't too bad. Youth players are coming on quality, everyone's doing pretty well, everyone's pretty happy. Paul Bostwick, who always seemed to moan, and he's moaning there that he hasn't played enough games. Why? I do not know, because to be honest, he's played four, everyone else has played six. He's moaning for no reason, as per usual. Um, so tune in next episode, guys, to see Bostwick moan some more. Thanks for watching. Peace.